And finally, problems 25 through 28 are uh, supposed to evaluate by using mental math. So taking this log expression, log base 2 given value 1, let's set it equal to an equation, equals x. So we have 2 to the x power equals 1. Well, we know that x has to be 0 in this case. Okay? Anything to 0 power equals 1. Here I have log 0 0.001. Uh, we know that this has a base 10 because it's a common log. So we turn this into equation. So we go log 10, 0 0.001 equals x. So we go 10 to the x equals 0 0.001. So think of this. We're moving this decimal place one, two, three places over uh, to the right. So x is going negative. So x, so that'd be 10 to the minus 3. So x equals negative 3. Think of this. This is one thousandths, right? One, one thousandth, one over one thousand. One thousand is equal to ten to the third. The fact that it's um, that it is a so this is like one over ten to the third. So that's equal to ten to the minus three. So therefore, x is equal to negative three. Okay. All right. Moving on. So we set it up as an equation again. Log base 4, given value 64, equals x. That's the exponent. So 4 to the x equals 64. And we you know 4 to the third power is 64. So therefore, x equals 3. Last one. So here, here I have log to the 0 0.1. That's my base, given values 100. Set that up as an equation. 0 0.1, given values 100, equals x. So, uh, we have 0.1 to the x power equals 100. Well, think about this. How many times would you have to move this decimal in order to get that to be from 0.1 to 100? And the answer is 3. So would that necessarily be our qu answer? Hmm. Point one. Ah. If I went, um, if x was equal to negative three, perhaps, what would that look like? So what you need to do is go to your graphing calc or go to your calculator, and raise that. to the negative 3 power and see what you get. Well, 0 0.1 to the negative 3 power gives you 1,000. So 0 0.1 raised to the negative 2 power gives you 100. So in this case, x equals negative 2, not negative 3.